Hi, I'm Gloria DeBerry, and I'm uh, running for Fort Walton Beach City Council, March 14th, 2023. Uh, I'm Gloria DeBerry, and I've uh, lived here since 1970. I'm a mother of two children. We put ourselves through school, paid our uh, to, uh, uh, student loan in uh, minimum time. And the last several years, um, I'm retired. I'm a retired nurse, a nurse, uh, a clinical nurse specialist, worked all over the world in almost all the countries in the world. Uh, as a nurse without borders, I'm a uh, subject matter expert, and I, I'm a problem solver, and my, I'm a, uh, they call me from everywhere to come help with their businesses to solve the problems, and I'm a critical thinker. And uh, Fort Walton Beach City staff needs help. Many of the people were um, uh, either let go or um, re uh, retired or just left the last quarter, and they need help. The morale was very, very bad. It's getting better, but they still need help. Oh, golly, I'm a quintessential volunteer. Uh, I'm on the, uh, the local planning agency with Fort Walton Beach City, uh, which is a, a part of the coding de uh, department. I am on the board for Center for Lifelong Learning, and that's going on 20 years. I'm a volunteer with the United Way. It's a new program, RSVP, uh, re uh, Retired Senior Volunteers. Golly, I can go on and on and on. Uh, Mission Without Borders. Uh, I'm a, a nurse without borders all over the world. Uh, R uh, Rwanda after the genocide. Uh, Nigeria uh, with the Ebola crisis. Uh, Cameroon um, throughout the United States. Alaska, China. Just before the COVID, I was there uh, with the cliff cliffs and pallets and um, many other uh, medical missions. I am greatly opposed with the fire assessment fee. And that's what really started me coming uh, to all the city council meetings. We were not able to vote for it, like the half cent sales tax, uh, TDC money. Uh, it would just slam dunk, you know, uh, you're gonna get hit with $80. This is for the uh, uh, residents. And golly, the, the businesses, they're hit for so much uh, per square foot. So the hotels, the uh, auto car uh, uh, showrooms, all that, they're getting slam dunk. We didn't have any say whatsoever. And then when we tried to talk to the city council and get it rescinded, we were completely shut down. Also, uh, uh, I'm concerned with the morale of the uh, city staff. It's getting better uh, uh, since um, the previous uh, CFO left, since the uh, manager left, and the fire chief. And those are the three people I wanted out of there. Uh, and uh, I'm here to help them. Oh, I am, like I said earlier, I am very definitely against the fire assessment fee. And how would I replace? I, am, I pontificate grant writing. I've asked them to, uh, 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 Perkins, Fire Chief Perkins, when he wanted to buy a, a million dollar fire uh, engine last year, I held up my phone. I says, here's a grant for a, a million dollar um, fire engine. That's not the one we want. And again, this year, or um, I think it was in January or was it De uh, December, our new fire chief, Jer uh, Jeremy Morgan, he wanted to buy another uh, fire truck or fire engine. And again, and I, I talked to him, I talked to him at the um, volunteer uh, fire uh, uh, um, workshop uh, at the college, and he says, no, we, they wanted a um, proprietary fire engine with only a mechanic that works for that company to replace whatever parts, and, and, and I said, what's wrong with a Ford or Chevrolet rather than a Mercedes Benz? And he wouldn't answer. We need a city manager. Uh, uh, Mr. Beatty left, and uh, in the interim, uh, Jeff Peters, who is the uh, Parks and Recreation Director, is filling in. And he has made it known that he wants to be the next city manager. Thank goodness uh, the city council asked the city to um, reach out to a com with the company to look throughout the United States or the world for someone who is not ingrained in this city uh, and grew up in this city, such as Mr. Peters, and who has the, the knowledge and the experience of being a city manager. Mr. Peters has been a sports uh, um, uh, Recreation uh, director for the last 17 years. He took it over from its father, Gene Peters, um, uh, 17 years ago. So that's all he has done. He grew up here. I know, I've known uh, Jeff since he was a little guy. He may be a, a, a fine family man or a good man, but he is not a manager. He is not a manager. That is a great question. Throughout the world, I am known 
to be a critical thinker. I have tenacity, and I'm a fighter. And I will go, I will study, I will I work with the people to get them to change their way of working, even their uh, uh, working process, because I am a clinical nurse specialist. Not only a clinical nurse specialist, but I'm also, a, 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 I have a master's in business. I am a risk manager, not only in business, but also in healthcare. I work with these people. I teach uh, online classes to, uh, uh, to healthcare workers in Rwanda, Bangladesh, Myanmar, the Philippines, and they say, Mama G, you do not have to speak our language. Your eyes, and you point, you tell us what to do and use the dollar store laser pointer. I can help the city.